took from that, out of that whole play, that's what you took from that, you don't know football. You can't do nothing that I do. You can't go out there and do nothing. Stay in your lane, buddy. Stop playing me, bro. Just asking a question, Trayvon. I mean, I'm happy to have you answer the question. Out of that whole play, that's what you took from that? That's what you got from that? That whole play, that's what you got from that? I'm asking you. We can talk about it more. What, 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 what were you doing then? Took from that, out of hope. These nuts, these nuts. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Welcome to Manic Depressant Monday. For the Dallas Cowboys in what seems to be the worst season that I can remember. Stephen Jones on 105 The Fan said he hasn't had any thoughts of this season that maybe this team just isn't good enough. This team is made up of a lot of the same players that won 12 games the last three seasons. Right now we're just going through adversity. We've had more than our share of injuries, it feels like, this year, especially on the defensive side of the ball. I think we've had really good football players. At times, we've had spurts, and when we played well, and obvious at times, when we're not playing well. This is the same guy who figures, well, we paid Dak and we paid CD, so we're automatically going to get, since we paid him you know, more money, we're going to get, say, a 20 percent boost out of production out of them. Stephen Jones literally admits that he doesn't know shit. Here's the problem that I will say. Here's what, what I've learned in my time. Um, I've been doing YouTube now really heavy for eight years. And what I've learned is you have to evolve. You have to change. Because things that you do, others will figure out what you do, and they'll figure out how to do it cheaper and better. There's been a lot of businesses and things out there that we look at, I and mean, even like right now. For me growing up, it was Sears. Sears used to do kit houses. You know, they drive on the train where you literally could put together a house with the whole kit. Sears and Roebuck, they sold everything. They had a catalog to stick. Then there was Kmart that came through. Kmart and the Blue Light Specials, that was good. And then came Walmart. And Walmart put out Sears and Kmart. And now you can look at it and say Amazon is kind of hurting the business some for Walmart and becoming the next thing. And at some point we'll be talking about Amazon being put out of business. Because if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. And here lies the problem with the Cowboys that they look at it and say, well... You know, he, 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 he Stephen literally said, well, you know, as far as wins out there, you know, we're right there with the Kansas City Chiefs <laughs> with 36 wins over the last three years. <clears throat> the NFL doesn't give a fuck <clears throat> what you did last year. It's constantly evolving. You, you, you could look at it and say, well, hell, the Cowboys in the 90s, you know, they won double-digit games every year, so we just keep those same guys on the field. No, they not, They get old. They evolve. And unfortunately, we're looking at a situation now where Mike McCarthy has literally become the Mike McCarthy of the last couple of years in Green Bay. Where Aaron Rodgers got flustered with him and helped to exit him out the building. They didn't run the ball well. They didn't use play action. They didn't challenge down the field. Mike McCarthy literally looks like he's reverted back to Mike McCarthy, the bad Mike McCarthy. 
And I'm not going to say that the Cowboys did him any favors because you had a coach who was actually doing more than what we thought was with the team in Dan Quinn, who was basically begging you for more talent. You had guys like Bobby Wagner who wanted to come here that could have taken care of your linebacking problem three years ago. Problem that we're still dealing with today. You had running backs like Derrick Henry that wanted to come here who could have helped take care of your running problem that we've had for multiple years. And for Stephen Jones to basically say what he has goes to show that he doesn't know what he's doing. I'm not going to pretend that I am an expert in the NFL, that I should be a GM, you know, or a talent evaluator. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to say that I am. And I'm not going to say that the job is easy. But I can say what I said along with Law Nation, along with Vosh, guys like Brian Brodus, that all of us who aren't part of the Cowboys organization can look and say, we don't have a good running game. We got a problem there. We can look at the defensive front and say, you know, bringing in 30-somethings, average guys on the defensive line, it's not going to fix the running game. It's starting rookies on the offensive line that you might need some more experience that having just one wide receiver one good one that that's not good enough i know we 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 are nobodies here in the grand scheme of thing but it seems like all of us outside could see the problems with the cowboys And we got Jerry Jones up there looking shocked and surprised, like, I can't believe this happened. And Stephen Jones, hmm, he never saw this that, and still doesn't see it, that we don't have the talent. That we don't have the talent. While teams like the only undefeated team right now, Kansas City, made a trade with New England to give themselves another edge rusher. Other teams are stockpiling and trying to get better. We still have two guys that believe we got we we believe in our own guys. You know, we we got everything we need right here. It's just a matter of coaching them up and you know, better play calling. Yeah. They do need to be coached up. Yeah. They do need better play calling, but they also need better players. We as fans don't deserve this. We don't deserve this. (sighs) Peace out, people. I got to go get back to work. Play that shit you took from that. You don't know football. You can't do nothing that I do. You can't go out there and do nothing. Stay in your lane, that. buddy. Stop playing me, bro. Just asking the question, Trayvon. I mean, I'm happy to have you answer the question. Out that whole play, that's what you took from that. That's what you got from now. That whole play, that's what you got from that. I'm asking. Fuck. We can talk about it more. What, 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 what were you doing then? Yeah. Maybe that's what should be said to Stephen Jones. You don't know nothing about football. You need to stay in your lane. Peace out.